Hey, what's up? I'm Compton EMT of HSA, and this is my first commentary on Blacklight Retribution. For those of you who don't know who I am, I'm one of the longtime community members dating back to the original game's release, and one of the, actually one of the forum moderators. First things first, though, I'm running this game on a laptop with Intel HD graphics, so it runs horribly. You also notice all the black areas on the map. That's because I'm actually playing on a lower than minimum specs PC or setup, which I'll explain later. This is actually some gameplay of a clan member inventory and myself where we started up a DM game. You'll notice other people start joining because this isn't a private match. Right now there are no private matches, however, they are coming, much like a lot of the other features in the game. Right here you'll notice I completely misjudge inventory's intended route and actually completely waste that nade right there. The HRV is a wonderful tool, but sometimes you overthink what's going on, especially when doing the quick scan. For all those out there not liking that there's a quote unquote legal wall hack in the game, let me tell you, I was apprehensive about the first game for that simple fact. However, it actually speeds up the gameplay and is not overpowered. It basically works like the game showing you a mini-map, except it only shows it for a set time in which you're completely vulnerable. So right now I want to talk about the difference between hip fire and tight aim in Blacklight. This isn't Call of Duty. Don't always tight aim or ADS. The way it works in this game is hip fire is for short to medium range and tight aim is for medium to long range. Tight aim has a number of movement penalties that basically make you a sitting duck when you're using it. You can see here inventory is trying to flank me. I could sit and wait in ADS, but instead, hip fire and boom, dead. Yeah, I should have teabagged him right there, but if I would have sat and tight aimed, I wouldn't be able to strafe away from his gunfire like I did due to a movement penalty, or follow with my crosshair as he bunny hopped due to the sensitivity penalty. I personally like this because it combines old school and new school styles of shooting well, in my opinion. So let's talk about low-end computers for a second here. A lot of people have been complaining about lag since closed beta 1, and in a lot of cases it's frame lag. This isn't your normal first person shooter, it's graphics intensive. However, for you guys with low end computers, I suggest going to the lowest of low on your settings and maybe even below that. If you want to go below minimum, find your Fox Engine file and look for the system settings section. Turn everything to false, excluding directional light maps. Do this from the beginning of that section to where you see all the mobile items. Coming back to the whole hip fire tight aim thing again, I want to point out that if your enemy is unaware of your presence, use ADS to finish job quickly like I did there. You don't have to worry about penalties if you're not being shot at. If you are exchanging bullets with your opponent, use hip fire so you have that extra mobility like this and boom, inventory goes down. Again. Poor Chris. Poor, poor Chris. Oh, by the way guys, I really want to point out that every th time I go jogging, I bring a knife with me. I don't live in a dangerous place, I just know you run faster with a knife in your hand. Video games taught me that one. <laughs> oh look, it's inventory again. Someone should warn him I'm coming. Use your HRV to hunt specific players, especially high threats in DM, as they give you more points. Wait for it. Boom. Dead again. Now that I've mocked inventory a couple times, I want to talk about what we have in store for High Stakes Anonymous. Currently, we're not actively looking to crew, recruit, but we can always make exceptions. On the other hand, we're actually gearing up for our future expansion, meaning we'll be accepting new recruits again. In this expansion, we're planning to upgrade everything. This means our site is going to get a real web hosting where we can build a real site, not a Weebly site. We're going to add two new leaders to the three we already have. These guys have already been talked to and they're just waiting to get their hands dirty and get working. We're also going to add new members, hopefully lots of new members. Another big part is we're going to launch a review and news site to help feed the masses and show off our members to the world for their more eccentric values, not just their game playing abilities. And lastly, for all you Euro players out there, 
HSA European Division. That's right. We're going to have a whole section for our brothers across the pond. That means all you Euro players playing Xbox or PC or even mobile games will have a part of HSA dedicated to you. So, if you would like to get your application in now, head on over to our current website on Weebly and fill out our rush form. Also, make sure to like our Facebook page, subscribe to our YouTube, and follow us on Twitter. Maybe then you can end up like inventory. Yeah, just like inventory. Getting blasted down on YouTube. Like that. Having talked about HSA, I want to move on to another community. BG League. Epic has been working on bringing together a competitive community, and we almost had 100 players on the BGL Mumble the other night. Anyone who is planning to compete in Blacklight should look up BG League and get a hold of Epic. Currently there is an open Mumble server for the League, and actually HSA's Mumble Room is also located on that server. There should be a lot of cool events coming up in the near future, so definitely stay tuned for those. Oh, that's right, you get him inventory! That a boy! Getting back to Blacklight here for a moment though, I want to talk about the hit registry. Yes, it is a problem, however, it is being worked on. People have to remember this is still beta, even though it is an open beta. Sometimes it's not actually hit registry failing, but like this spot in the video, it's just my rounds missing by such a small margin, you would expect them to hit, but they don't. This coupled with times like this when I seemingly gun, get gunned down in three rounds when I fired a bunch of rounds makes people think the registry is further off than it really is. Slowing down my footage frame by frame I actually noticed that only two rounds landed and I only actually got two hit markers. Yet this raises suspicion because here I only get three hit markers at 54 damage which should have not killed him at 175 health. Maybe it was damaged, I don't know. But here I am seemingly being shot three times again by the same player. This is why people scream hacks a lot in this game, but once again, slowing it down frame by frame, he does 53 damage to me twice and finished with a headshot. Not unlikely, thus not a time to call hacks, but rather luck or even skill. So I don't really mind. After finding out I've been a fan of this franchise from the beginning, some people wonder how I think it compares to the original. For that, you'd have to know what I thought of the original. I loved it. I had recently gotten an Xbox at the time and hated the style of FPS games that were the norm of the day. Blacklight Tango Down, to me, felt like a step back to the Twitch shooters I loved so much from the past on PC. The no camp, fast paced style was something fresh and awesome among the slew of modern games that didn't add up to fun for me, but rather aggravation. Knowing that I Knowing that, I can now tell you that BLR, though not what I had originally imagined the sequel to be, really shines in both aesthetics and gameplay. I've seen the game on higher end computers and it looks phenomenal. When it comes to gameplay, it's that same fast paced anti-camp from the first game, but on steroids. With the continued support from the guys at Zombie Studios, it's sure to become bigger and better than it already is. New maps and modes will continue rolling out to keep the game fresh and a great experience. Once inventory, God bless his heart, gets that video card over to me, I hopefully will be able to play on a system that can actually support the game and hopefully in the near future I can build a new gaming rig that will allow me to take full advantage of even the most high-end settings for this game. I'd love this game to come to Xbox for the large Blacklight community that still to this day plays Tango Down, but that's not likely as of now. Maybe with a new more powerful console and some changes to Microsoft policies and you might see it, but until then, you'll have to play this on PC. Sorry guys. All in all, I love the game and HSA will continue to support it. Upcoming from HSA Films will be some videos focused around advertising the clan features and clan combat of this game. Besides that, we plan to expand HSA Films with the rest of the HSA into a bigger entity by doing different types of projects for lots of people and even doing some live action videos. So once again, this was Compton EMT, and I hope you found the video informational and entertaining. Check the info and subscribe, you guys. As always, thanks for watching.